Hello and welcome to the Jonas.net. My name is Donald Jonas and today I'm going to do a two-part video tutorial on how to set up, install, and use antivirus in the Linux environment. The Linux distribution I'm using today is CentOS version 5.5, the 64-bit edition, which is based upon Red Hat Enterprise Edition, and this operating system is free to download at CentOS.org. Now I'm going to walk you through on how I install the antivirus in my Linux operating system. I like to use Clam, Clam AV, which is a free antivirus. Uh, it was released under the GNU licensing, so there is no charge to you to use it. It's an excellent antivirus, and um, it runs very well, and uh, it is maintained. Updates are free also. We're going to begin with uh, using Webmin. If you followed in any of my previous tutorial videos, you should be familiar with this uh, uh, utility uh, uses a web browser to configure your um, Linux OS operating system. So double click it, install it, run through the quick little wizard. After that we're going to need two more packages, RPM Forge release and Python. If you had time to watch my two videos on formatting a USB drive, these are the same two uh, packages I used in that video. Otherwise, if you need the link to uh, download these, I have them on my website. And that is right here. Go to www.thejonas.net. Uh, just type in clam in the search engine. And uh, I put it all into a text document. It should open right up in your browser, no matter what browser you're using, uh, IE or Firefox. And as you can see, here are the links. I mean, this is a 64-bit edition uh, package, so you might want to download yours accordingly if it's 32-bit. And here's the Python package. These are some switches that you can use to run the antivirus. We'll get into that uh, probably in the second video. And some commands. Okay. Uh, let's begin by installing the rest of the packages. RPM4 just usually installs pretty quick. fast, huh? Uh, and then Python. Python may need to add a few dependencies, uh, but it's normally pretty fast. Clam Antivirus, when it runs, it doesn't run continuously. In the, I mean, it runs as a service, but it doesn't constantly scan your computer in the background like it does in other platforms. Um, you ha This is more of a command line scanner. There is a graphical interface for it called Clam uh, TK, but I will be doing the tutorial on using command line. It's relatively simple. It's not hard to use. Uh, added, dependencies added. Okay, and um, you can scan directories as needed. Just a quick follow-up on uh, antivirus for Linux. There's not a, a tremendous amount of threats out there for uh, Linux as far as antivirus goes as opposed to um, say a uh, Windows uh, platform because you know Windows has such a large percentage of the desktop market people wanna you know they got their exposure is much greater so people are more attracted to that yeah they got a bigger target on their back you might say that's unfortunate because Microsoft makes an excellent product uh, Linux is such a smaller portion as far as the desktop goes so the threat level isn't nearly as great. Um, it does grow as they become bigger using the Ubuntu desktop or the um, Fedora desktop, which is a really good desktop environment. Those will be more susceptible to virus uh, contamination because you're constantly installing and removing and using the web browser on the internet. Servers, uh, most cases, most servers don't go to the internet that often or they really shouldn't other than updates. So as far as viruses affecting the operating system itself, it's not going to be, the threat level isn't going to be nearly as high. But if you're going to set this up as a file server, which um, I do, um, you're going to have directories in here that are probably going to be shared out, like say the home folder for instance, as you create users it populates into here and you maybe match up, map out that home folder as their local uh, H drive to their Windows PC. Or you'll create directories, like you watch my file server video, and you'll map out like uh, to department drives, like accounting, engineering, and those are all contained, you know, documents um, that were created probably in a Windows environment, and it's a possibility they could have viruses on them, and Clam will detect viruses uh, that are stored on those folders, whether it's Windows or whether it's uh, Linux or even Mac. 
doesn't make a difference. Uh, the definitions are good for all those platforms. It's a cross-platform antivirus. And I'll show you how to run scans on those directories that you map out to your uh, Windows or Mac environment in the next uh, video. So, now these three packages are installed. Open up your terminal. And we're going to run a couple simple commands here. Uh, the first one, what this primarily does is it gives you the ability to run the apt get, the app get uh, command in Red Hat, which is great because normally you use yum to install applications or packages. Now we can use both app get, which is very popular in the Ubuntu community. And yes, you can use it now in, uh, well, it's been around for a while for uh, Red Hat based products. So let's run app get update, update all the definitions all the packages that are available for you to download using this uh, packet manager. This usually takes a, probably less than a minute, it's pretty fast. And once we get this we're going to install a very popular uh, packet manager called Synaptic. So instead of using just the yum uh, graphical interface we're also going to use Synaptic which will go out and retrieve the uh, app get packages. Great. All right. Now let's install the Synaptic Packet Manager. Uh, app get space install Synaptic. Let's open out and grab the uh, application for you. In most cases it's pretty fast. And I think it's about done. Great. Now we're going to install the Clam Antivirus using this great graphical tool that um, is available on many Linux distributions. Click on it. And just close out of it. Um, go into search and you guessed it, you're going to type in Clam. Search. There it is. We're going to mark it for installation. Clam AV, the DB, and we're going to look for the service here, the daemon. All three. Hit apply, apply. Uh, it'll just take a, probably less than a minute to download and then run the uh, installer. And once this is done, um, we'll proceed to the next video on how to um, scan for antiviruses. We'll just set up the service at the end of this video. That was pretty quick. And it just applies changes. And that's it. I'm going to do a quick little update here. Just to verify it's been installed. It's been installed. Good, good. Excellent. Now um, we need to start the service. So in your terminal, type in service S E R V I C E, clam D for the service, and start going to give you a little pop-up saying your virus definitions are out of date and you need to update it, see? And we'll update it in a second here, but we have to get a service running. Before we update the, the uh, virus database, let's just make sure this service runs all the time. So type in C-H-K-C-O-N-F-I-G space clam D and the word on. Now by doing that, every time you reboot your server, the clam antivirus will start running. That way you don't have to start it manually. Now let's update the uh, database. So type in clam, I'm sorry, that would be fresh clam. And you're just going to hit enter. It's going to go out and it's going to download all the uh, definitions for your uh, antivirus. You want to run this command every day to get the latest definitions for it, for uh, virus uh, for your uh, virus definitions for your database, and you want to schedule your full scans. And in the next video, um, I will show you how to do that. I feel it's relatively simple, and um, this tutorial video is just to give you the basics on how this works. And of course, you can always grow on that. And um, thank you for watching my video, and I will be back in a minute to start a second video. Have a wonderful day, and thank you for visiting thejonas.net.